Ratio strength expressions are used as a way to represent drug concentrations just in terms of a ratio. And they may be considered an alternative to using percentages. And when we use ratio strengths, the concentration is denoted as one unit of solute contained in the total amount of solution or mixture. When we look at the ratio, the numbers are read as parts, so this will be crucial for solving these types of problems. And for example, if we say the ratio is 1 to 25, that means that there's one part in 25 parts. And we'll see what that looks like. The units then are just, are just assigned depending on if you're working with weight per weight, weight per volume, or volume per volume. And in preparations in which all concentrations tend to be weight per weight, so this is one particular example that we'll highlight, the sum of all contributions has to equal the total number of parts. So let's put this into action. In this example, the question asks for the resultant or final ratio strength of an ointment that's prepared by combining two different concentrations of beta-methasone valerate ointment. So we have a 10 gram amount of 10% concentration. We have 40 grams of a 5% beta-methasone valerate ointment, and we're going to mix that in 10 grams of ointment base. So as always, we need to know what we're working with. So let's start with what we know. So we know that we have 10 grams of a 10% BVO, I'm gonna call it BVO from here on out to make it simple, uh, solution. We have a 40 gram amount of 5% ointment available. So we have those two different ointment concentrations. And then finally, we're gonna mix those two in 10 grams of ointment base. Now, the first thing that we need to do is to figure out how much of the beta-methasone valerate ointment we have. So we're gonna simply turn these into volumes. Um, so knowing that we have 10 grams of this 10% concentration, we can figure out that we need one gram of the 10% compound and then we know we have 40 grams of the 5% concentration so we'll need 2 grams of that particular one so overall if we add these together we then know that we need 3 grams total of these two types these two different concentrations of the beta methasone valerate ointment the next thing we need to do is determine what's our overall total volume for all three of these different ointments. And that is simply just a matter of adding these two up, these three up. So 10 grams plus 40 grams plus 10 grams is going to give us 60 grams total ointment. And the question had asked for ratio strength. So we're going to set up our equation to start looking for that portion now. So remember, we are going to look at parts of uh, a particular solute over the total volume of that particular compound. So in this case, we have 60 grams of our particular solute over 60 grams of our total ointment. And because this is a ratio, we need to set it up. And remember I had said that this is essentially equal to one part over total number of parts. Well, we're gonna use grams in this case um, because that's our unit that we've been working with. And we're going to solve for X, so our total number of parts in that ratio. And we can simply just cross multiply. So 3x is going to be equal to 60. x, we'll solve for that, is going to be 20. So how we turn this into a ratio strength expression is then one part per 20 uh, parts weight per weight. And that's it. You've done a ratio strength expression.